Hi everyone and welcome. Guys, as you can see that a new Dual Boot 2 has been released for 64-bit devices and uh, it supports Uncover and Check Rain and it supports all the 64-bit devices on the latest firmware that is 13.5.1 but please keep in mind that the SCP of the version you want to dual boot must be compatible with the latest version that is currently signed and uh, this tool make it really easy that is called devising all right so let's see the github page and learn more then i will show you that how you can install it from the repo and then I'll show you that how you can go along with it. It is really easy as you can see the tweets. All right. So just head to the GitHub page. So guys, here it is. That is called device Z. And it is a package that you can use to dual boot. There's nothing much to read about it so that I would like to show you on my device that how you can install it. Of course, your device must be jailbroken. All right, just go to Cydia. You must add this repo. There is a third last from this list that is repo.dynastic.co. You can find it in the description. All right. After adding the repo, just go to all packages and find the tool that is devising. All right. And just install it. You can read about it if you want. There is called the tethered downgrade. Yes, this is not untethered. You must boot it using PY boot. Every time you want to go to the second OS and uh, it is really easy to use but unfortunately PY boot is on the Mac OS only it is not supported on Windows but if you have a Mac this is for you so so let's install it and I will show you that how you can go along with it Just turn to Cydia, go home and you should see device Z. Just open it and it will ask you that what you want to do. You can now dual boot or tether downgrade. If you want to dual boot, so just click start. So it says that you have to remove the password or you don't have to set a password on the second OS alright just click next you can read along alright you can uninstall the second OS anytime alright just click next you can also jailbreak the dual booted OS and it says that the SCP must be compatible all right, and you should not run the erase all content and settings on the second OS or it will break the second OS and may cause issues on the first OS also. So you can see that it says done and now just dismiss and you have to download the IPSW from this button. All right, just it will now download the IPSW and then it will be ready to boot the second OS. You have to use the PY boot. If you go to settings, you can also see that you can modify some settings. Next, I want to show you that how you can tether downgrade. I will just reset this app and I'll show you. I have reset the app. As you can see, I am back to that screen. 
that says you want to dual boot or direct downgrade I will click direct downgrade so now you can download the IPSW and then you can downgrade it to the version of your choice download the IPSW and it will ask you what version you want to go to enter your version like 13.3 all right and click ok so it will you it will ask you to check the SCP compatibility if you have checked it click yes if you haven't you can click the exit button so guys that way you can downgrade your iOS or you can just dual boot your iOS version and it is really easy to use that is my iPhone 7 right here but unfortunately as I have said you that uh, it needs Mac OS to boot the second OS so if you have a Mac OS this is for you and uh, if you want to learn more about PY boot you can see the description I have made a separate video on PY boot. Alright. So guys, if you want to ask me anything, just ask me in the comments. Alright. And uh, thanks for watching until the end and thanks for all the support. Until next time, see you in, in another video.